Get all up in this fantasy, darling. Get all up in this fantasy. I'm giving you Afro Princess Leia, darling. Get all up in this mud crocodile. Never said it was my beat, but I got cold like a heat. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Woo! About to get in this tea, on it. Welcome back. Thank you for coming again. If you have, if this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So what are we doing? Drama. So if you haven't seen the first episode, go ahead and click right up here and, and go watch it and then come back here or watch this one first. Really that matter, it doesn't have to be in order. Today, since it is a Sunday series, I thought I'd share a story with you guys about how good Jesus is. We all know karma. We are familiar with her. But you know who will take care of your karma for you? Jesus. Don't ever feel like just because somebody got you means you need to go get them, okay? Don't ever block your blessings because someone did you wrong. Now keep that in mind when I'm telling you this story. So let's just get right into it. So let me set the scene. Let me give these characters names. Roommate number one, let's call her Tiara. And roommate number two, we will call her Leslie. So we have Tiara and we have Leslie. Like I said in the last video, I had a lot of college roommates. Therefore, we have a lot of stories. So this particular instance, Jesus was on my side. Um, per, but I mean, he's always on my side, but this was just one of those I will carry with me forever. So I, I hope that you get the same lesson out of it that I did. Okay, so anyway, so moving on. You know, quick a, a quick story. I'm not going to keep you along. But anyways, I'm, ra I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Oh my gosh, I'm distracted. Okay, okay, let's, let's get right to the tea. Tiara, Tiara. Leslie. Leslie. These particular roommates that I was living with were swell enough and just like any other people that live together you have your 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 quarrels your ons and offs right this was during a particular time that tiara and i were we just were not on the best of terms we weren't gelling we were giving each other a little bit of space we were up under each other all the time and so we kind of ventured out and kind of found our own friend groups and started doing more things individually right we've all been there Thought we were all on the same page. Tiara had some gals over. They were in the living room, you know, kiki, ha ha, doing a little this, a little this, a little game, a little music, right? So I'm getting dressed because I'm going out with, with some of my duties. Different duties that she doesn't know because we have agreed. Let's do some things separately, right? Okay, no big, right? So here I come, Dolly. Here I come, I come, I come strolling out. And I'm looking fabulous. I'm looking fabulous. Beside the point, but I just had to throw that in there. And they're like, oh, Chanel, where are you going? Like, da 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 da. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe you should go turn up. Right? No, I didn't talk like that. But no, I was just telling them, yeah, I'm going to go out for a nice, lovely evening with my Judy's. Y'all have fun. And then so Tiara's like, uh, so you couldn't invite me? I mean, I was, I was like, look, <laughs> this was very last minute. We've already decided we're going to, you know, we're going to spend time with separate Judy's. You know, like, don't be like that. Don't make me feel bad because I'm, because I'm looking fabulous and I'm going out to, to turn up. And she's, is, hmm, you know. My issue was... I didn't really like... I, I, You know what I can't stand? You know what I can't stand? Let me tell y'all what I can't stand. When people act different in front of different people. You know what I'm saying? Don't show don't show out in front of your little friends. Okay? Because you're not cute. Don't do the whole... Don't, don't try to say little sly, little slick stuff trying to be cute in front of your friends. And I know you already bad mouth me in front of them. So I can't, you know, get, get jazzy back. You know, but that's beneath me anyway. So I just let her have her little sly comments. And I was like, hmm, well, y'all have fun. What are you guys going to do tonight? And then they were like, oh, well, we're going to have a slumber party. You don't want to have a slumber party with them? Like, I'm like, it's clear to me that you people don't want me here. You all are in your feelings because I'm going out, no big. But college drama, right? It all sounds very petty because it was. So let's move on. I'm going out. I went out and I had a good time. I'm like, ah. Okay, so anyway, so, you know, we had, I had a good time. I had a good time, honey. So I come home and let me just, let, let me just tell you this part. Sometimes 
our front door would jam. Um, in case you didn't know, we lived in apartments, not dorms. Uh, if you saw the first video, you know that. So anyway, so in this apartment, sometimes the front door would jam because, you know, just with the humidity and the moisture and the wood, you know, expanding, contracting, like, y'all know, you know, like, it's science. We don't need to get into the science of it. Sometimes the door would jam. I go home and, you know, I'm feeling real good, real tired or whatever. I've been sweating, been dancing, darling. So I go up to the door, you know, put my little key in, and I go, boom. <laughs> Maybe a nigga use a real key or something, you know what I'm So I was like, okay, let me use another one. So I put the key in that one. And I said, boom. Doom, 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 doom. I said, now I, Lord Jesus, now I know. On Mary Joseph, the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the angels, on oh, my mama. I know this girl did not lock me up this time. I know this girl didn't lock me out this damn apartment. I was like, you know, I'm not going to assume that this girl locked me out of this apartment. What? Why would she do? Why would she lock me out? It's late. It's, she wouldn't do that, okay? It was an accident. Like she said, they were having a slumber party, so maybe somebody locked the top lock trying to be safe. So, I'm not that old. We had cell phones, so let me call. Let me call. Let me... Well, now my mind rang it in. I was like, okay, okay. I don't know. <laughs> By this point, my ride had already pulled off. So, I got to get in here. So, I was like, let me call again. Now my mind is still ringing. I called so many times. I'm beating on the door. I'm kicking the door. I'm do -do 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 doing this to the door. These bitter Topangas, these bitter Judies locked me out of my own establishment. For wh what was the reason? As Cardi B would say. I had to call somebody, luckily a lot of college kids lived in that same apartment complex so I could call somebody, which who wants to call somebody at that at wee hours in the morning, but what was I gonna do, stand outside of the door? So I, I called somebody, I was like, yeah, I, I'm locked out. Can I, you know, can I just sit there till I can get somebody to wake up? Whoa. By the way, never got in touch with her. I ended up being able to get in because she, somebody left. And you know, when both people are, when nobody's in the apartment, you can't lock the top lock. So I kept calling, calling, never answered. And finally I went when I, I knew, you know, she would be gone. When both, you know, and oh, by the way, I know you're probably like, well, where was Leslie and all this? Well, Leslie was a, a, a away at home at the time. So it was just the two. Tierra and I in the apartment. So if you're wondering why, why can't you just go on her? I thought of that. She went home either, okay? So don't judge me. Let's keep, keep, keep up. Damn. Where was I? So I finally get in because no one was home. She finally comes home and I it was like, hey man, what the hell? Like what? Why? 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 And she was like, oh, I was asleep. You were asleep. All of y'all were asleep. I could see if you was in there alone and you were sleeping, you didn't hear it, which I don't know how you couldn't, but I could give you the benefit of the doubt because it was late. I could give you the benefit of the doubt, honey. But out of like the five of y'all that was in there, nobody woke up to, no, no, you bitter Topangas locked me out of my establishment, honey. <sighs> But you know, being the lady that I am, I let it go. And, and uh, I just, you know, I just treated her with a long handle spoon and I just moved on from it. Here is where Jesus comes in the picture. Fast forward, maybe like a month and a half later. It was holiday season. So everyone is going home for the holidays. I went home for the holidays and Leslie had went home for the holidays. And Tiara was the last one to go home for the holidays, okay? So she would have been at the apartment by herself. Stay with me here. This information is important. It's, it's important for it just in one second. Just stay with me. I'm, I'm at home minding my own business. I'm drinking eggnog. I'm listening to music. I'm kicking. I have been gone. My phone is just ringing. I'm getting text after text after text. And I was like, what? So I'm like, it's Tiara. And I'm like, hello? 
What do you need? I'm sorry, what? Apparently, Tara had got locked out of the house. So she's calling me and she, she, what are you doing? Open this door. Let me in here. Ah! She was responding how I wanted to respond when she locked me out. But I wasn't there. So I was like, um, sorry, babe. <laughs> Not me. I don't, I, I'm all the way in a whole other city. So I don't know. Uh, may, maybe call Leslie and see. I don't know. Am I calling that girl Leslie, Leslie or Lindsay? Oh, whatever the hell, y'all know. I was like, you might wanna call Leslie and see and woo. She was like, okay, fine, whatever. And she hangs up on me all in hysterics. And I was thinking, damn, okay, well. And I was like, I'm pretty sure Leslie has already left at this point, but maybe she left later. Maybe she was in the shower and, and, and Tiara got locked out. You know, no big, right? At that point, I was satisfied because I was like, you know what, Nessie? Now you know how it feels to try to get into your apartment and you can't because somebody bitter. Even though for her, it wasn't somebody bitter, but now you know how it feels to be locked out. Now you've got a taste of it. Anyways, about 10 minutes later, I get a call from Tiara again. And she's like, open this door. I call Leslie. She's not there. This door won't open. I know somebody double locked in. I'm thinking, I'm like, girl, baby girl, <laughs> we're not home. So I <laughs> remember earlier when I had said that sometimes the door jam, Jesus said, you're not getting in this apart. You and your little friends and your bitter, bitterness did this to yourself. She, you, you, you brought it on yourself. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Jesus jammed the door so she couldn't get. And you're like, Chanel, well, what's there? You said that it jammed. Yeah, but this time it jammed so much that she couldn't even feel good have done it. We didn't like her out. We. We're not even there. So Chanel, how did she get in? <sighs> uh, this child, I guess must have pulled a football move on the door because when I, uh, 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 she sent some pictures and uh, when I tell you she busted that door all up, this shawty said, boom, boom, I don't know what she did. It looked like she uh, bulldozered the door. Damn thing was all off the hinges, the frame was all busted up. So, um, side note, when I saw what she did to that door, I really stayed clear of her because uh, I felt like if she could do that to a door, uh, she could probably kick my ass. So, I, <laughs> side note, whatever. And no, she wasn't like a huge big girl, which was made it even more impressive that, could you know how much force you have to use to bust through a door like that and not, and, and F the frame all up and the and the door was just you know what I'm saying? They have the door like this and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I just oh I thank you, thank you God, thank you God. Moral of the story is don't ever feel like you have to go after people. God will get them for you. Okay? And it will be it will be it won't be when you expect it. But it will be better than you anything that you could ever do. And you won't block your blessings, okay? Now, I'm not saying enjoy people's hardships and, you know, them getting God. But, <laughs> fist pump, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is the, the tea for the day. I hope you got a little bit of a lesson out of it. Hope you got a little bit of a laugh. And um, there's more where that came from. Today wasn't like juicy, juicy, but it was a good moral to the story. And there's more where that came from. So, wow, you guys. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't lock people out and wear your mask. Bye! Woohoo!